Hello, I am Kunal Panigrahi, a lead technical support analyst at BMC. In this video, I'll be showing you a simple use case for application deployment using BMC Release Lifecycle Management and Jenkins. Components involved are Jenkins to build the application WAR file, BMC Release Process Management or BRPM 5.0 Patch 1, BMC Release Package and Deployment or BRPD 5.0 Patch 1. BRPM is integrated with BRPD, Apache Tomcat 7 as my target application server. Let me show you my setup here. This is my Jenkins instance. The build demo project runs an ant build to generate a WAR file and then makes a REST call to my BRPM uh, instance to create a request from an existing request template. Moving on to BRPM setup, I have set up an integration to BRPD server and let me show you the request template. The template has one automatic step which calls BRPD integration. If you look at the step details, you can see all the BRPD information there. The second step is a manual step for user to validate the deployment and mark as complete. Moving on to BRPD setup, I have defined a package which has a file reference to the WAR file that gets generated on the Jenkins build server. On the topology side, I have defined channel template, channel environment and route to point to my Apache target server. The process is defined to send instance content, which is the newly built WAR file, to the deployed directory of the Apache Tomcat server. This is my Tomcat instance. And now let's jump to the use case. The current version of application which is deployed is version 5.0. I'll make a small modification in the WAR file version to 6.0, just to show as a change. Let me save it. I will initiate a Jenkins build. Build now. So build number 43 is started. Yes, and now if I go to BRPM and refresh the request page, you can see the build 43 deploy request is created. I'll plan and start the request. So the automatic step is already running. We can go to BRPD and then uh, check the status there. Let me refresh the page here. Okay. Instance number 15 is getting deployed and it is complete. So the step one is complete now. We are in the validate step. So let's go and refresh the page here. So the new version of application war file app is deployed now. So I'll go ahead and mark the BRPM uh, manual step also as complete. So this completes the workflow and thank you for watching the video.